Flushing in Kenyan lingo is a call that is terminated before it is picked. The aim is to have the person flushed to call back. With this being the norm, Kenyans are easy prey for an international fraud known as Wangiri that is done through missed calls. Wangiri in itself is a Japanese uh, word meaning um, one ring and cut. And that is why in Wangiri types of fraud, you will be able to find missed calls. Most often, you will find your phone having a missed call alert of a um, number that is all the time international. If you have ever gotten a missed call from international numbers from countries that you have never called or have no reason to engage, you must have wondered what was going on. The intention of Wangiri fraudsters is to trick as many subscribers as possible to call back. They don't target just one individual, but they do a global, um, you know, broadcasted kind of missed calls. Most of these numbers are premium destination, probably destination that will cost you more than uh, 50 shillings, uh, up to 100 in some cases, even 500 if it's, internet, if it's um, satellite uh, ranges. The fraudsters use the missed call as a trigger to have subscribers call back to premium rate numbers in countries with high cost of phone charges globally. Most of them, some of these are charged by per minute. So if, if you have to do some rough estimate and say, you know, if, if I broadcast 10 million and 1 million guys respond and each costs 100 shillings per minute billing, that's close to, you know, 100 million within a minute of callbacks to them. Once the fraudsters hook you to return the missed call from the strange international number, they then increase their tricks. They've tricked you so that you think, oh, somebody's looking for me, and you call back. And again, what they do is they don't just um, uh, terminate you to, you know, somewhere that you can hear. Probably they'll put you into a music or some love words or something that will delay you a little bit to try to make sense of what they are saying. So the more they lengthen your conversation trying to know whether it's a genuine call, is a fraudster, by the time you discover, oh, I was being uh, defrauded, you've taken a few seconds into a minute of it. That's how they, they get revenue. Fake missed calls fraud is big business globally. Wangiri type of fraud, the research done shows around $2 billion um, dollars annually lost. Where we sit as Kenya today, uh, the CA um, quarterly reports indicates that we have over 65 uh, million mobile subscription, and so we are prime target as Kenya. We lose millions in terms of uh, these callbacks that become cost to Safaricom at the same time, and um, becomes uh, you know airtime that are deducted from our customer by calling this premium destination that probably they would not have done. So there is a lot of um, loss, both to the customer and to the mobile network operators in Kenya and across the globe. So indeed, it's a huge type of scam um, that is increasing by day. The best way to protect yourself from the Wangiri fraud is never to call back strange numbers. If it's repetitive, you can report by sending that particular number to 333. Most importantly, you will have secured yourself by not calling back so you won't lose your airtime. But at the same time, by reporting that particular number, the advantage is will have helped somebody else who probably would have called back. Uh, if they call back, they'll find that number blocked.